We live in a plastic society. Plastic is everywhere. It's probably the best material ever invented. But it just doesn't belong in the environment. Too much of the plastic we use ends up in our ocean. We find it on our beaches. It harms our marine life. But where does the plastic do most of its harm? And what should we do about it? Plastic enters the ocean from a whole range of sources, including wastewater, litter on streets and beaches, fisheries. It is estimated that 10 million metric tons of plastic enters the ocean every single year. Once in the ocean, currents, waves and wind move the plastic around. It might be thrown back on a beach, it might sink to the ocean floor, or it might be ingested by animals. Or it might stay afloat for decades, slowly moving into the infamous garbage patches. All the while, waves and the sun break up the plastic into smaller and smaller pieces. A styrofoam cup might end up in hundreds of thousands of microscopic pellets. Nobody really knows how quickly all of these processes happen. But we do know that only 1% of all the plastic that has ever gone into the ocean is still floating on the surface. The other 99% is on beaches, on the seafloor or in animals. So what do we do about all this plastic in our ocean? Surely the best thing to do is to prevent the plastic from entering the ocean in the first place. Stop polluting. And if plastic does get into the ocean, then make sure it degrades very quickly. It will be impossible to ban plastic from our lives. But we can massively reduce its impact on our ocean. Take care of your plastic. Because a stitch in time saves nine.